So you've just downloaded the Shipmate mobile app and you're ready to get started. I'm here to walk you through the very basics of the app. So all aboard, let's check it out. That's a cruise ship sound. When you first open it up, you'll notice that you have your basic navigation at the bottom of the screen. To my Android people, you can follow along with this tutorial too. Just know the only difference will be that your main menu will be at the top of your screen instead of the bottom of your screen. On the far left is Newsfeed. You have My Cruises, Explore, Photos, and Profile. On the Newsfeed tab, you have two options, a personalized feed and a general feed. In the general feed, you can check out reviews, chat comments, pictures, and a lot more. Ooh, that's a pretty one. But to get your own personal feed, you'll need to save a cruise, and we'll get to that shortly. My Cruises is where you can store all of your past and upcoming cruise, uh, cruise itineraries. Explore is where you can look at any ship or port information, and that includes reviews, images, chat comments, deck maps, and much more. Photos is where all of our users upload photos on a regular basis. And Profile is where you'll keep all of your reviews, your photos, your content, and your profile. In order to start using Shipmate to its full effect, let's create an account. We'll use the Create Account button and an email address. And next, create a password. It'll let us add a photo. So you can either take a photo or you can choose from your library. And you may have to give the device access to get those photos, which I have already done. I'm going to pick this one. And now I get to choose a username. I'm going to say, um, let's see if King Hippo is taken. Nope, we're all good. Okay, so we're ready to continue. Now that we've created our account, you'll notice the big red alert at the top of our profile. That just means we haven't validated our account yet. Shortly after you've created your account, you'll get an email from us letting you validate that account. And here's my um, Gmail account. We can see that that email has come through. And if you don't see it uh, with whatever email client you're using, if you don't see it in that main inbox, check the social and the promotions and even the dreaded spam box on occasion will get sent there sadly. But we can see it in my primary box and King Hippo just needs to confirm King Hippo's email address. And now King Hippo is all validated. Now that I've activated that, I'll return to the app. We can see that that alert is still there, but if we pop over to a different tab, and then return to our profile. Boom, okay, now it's gone. We are ready for action. We can now chat, we can now leave reviews, upload images, and a bunch of other stuff. But first, let's just make sure that our profile is exactly as we want it. So we'll click the profile, um, edit button, and we can see my image. If I'd like to change that, I can do that here. And maybe I'd like this one better. I also have the option to add my hometown in there. I am a man. Now we're completely ready to go. We have our profile set up. It's looking good. King Hippo is from Irvine, California, although King Hippo has zero cruises and we'll change that very soon. In our next video, we'll show you how to add your very first cruise and get some other information about your upcoming or past sailings. So thank you very much for watching, shipmates, and we'll see you in the next video. Mwah.